Hey, well, this is JoJo, and I'm here to do a video for y'all. This is part two of my library book haul. I have a lot of books here, and I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Some of these books I do not know much about at all, and some I do, and some I do. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this as best as we can. So good luck to me. So the first book here I got here is American Street, and this is by Evie Zoboy. I don't know if I've shown you this in my previous library haul, but oh well, because I haven't done a library haul in a while, so here you go. This is a book about this young girl who is, I don't know, I think she's a Haiti descent. I'm not really sure, but her mother was taken by U.S. immigration, and now she, um, uh, her name, Joy Road, right? Yeah, she is now is like trying to uh, she had uh, have to navigate America. I don't know. Tried to navigate America with her cousins, without her mother or something. So it's like one of those stories, and she still don't know much about it. Probably a contemporary from the age story kind of thing, but. Hopefully to get to this soon and enjoy it. Next I got here is More Than, Than We Can Tell by Bridget Prim Kimmerer. Oh, I don't pronounce her last name. This is like the, you could say, sequel or you could say the, what do you call it? A sequel stand, I don't know what you call it, I forget what you call it. A, uh, a side story, I don't know, I forget what to call it when. It's mostly kind of like a sequel, but at the same time, it's not. It's with different characters, but the characters was in the first book. But this is their story now. Uh, well, actually, one of the main characters in the first book is their story now. So this is the book right here. Is the Letters to the Dolls. I read that. I think it was last year. I really enjoyed it. And this is the book by uh, for uh, Toad and Rev uh, point of view and Emma. And this is mostly, don't know much else about this, but they cross paths, path, and um, I guess they mostly share emails or uh, chat and uh, text together, but I don't think they know who each other are, but I'm not really sure. So they mostly tell each other, like, they confide into each other without knowing who the other person is through text and stuff. So we have that. It's a contemporary, funny romance. Next I got here is Mapping the Bones by Jane Yolen, and this um, is a new ser a new book that came out this year, and I do not know much about it. It seems it's gonna be one of those creepy kind of maybe paranormal, supernatural kind of stories. It seems very interesting, and um, I don't know. It uh, do not know. I think it's something to do with like uh, it's, it's historical fiction, and it's probably something to do with the Holocaust, and you know, but it seems like something to do with fairy uh, fairy tales too. So probably one of those creepy kind of fairy tales kind of stories. So we have that. This interesting. Next I got here is Reflection: A Twisted Tale by Elizabeth Clem. I do not know if I shown. This in a previous video, a book haul video, but I know I've shown this like in my TBR and stuff. Um, this is what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld, so most of this is Mulan. In this world, Shane probably died, actually died, took a hit, and um, hit, and um, has uh, probably went to the underworld, and Mulan is trying to find a way to bring him back or something. I'm in the middle of this, and um, Seem interesting so far, so hopefully I'll get back into it soon, and hopefully finish it, and hopefully it'll be really good. Next I got here is Dread Nation by Justina Iron or Ireland, yeah Ireland, and this is a historical fiction with I guess paranormal uh, elements. It's set in the uh, during the Civil War or between the Civil, I don't know, before the Civil War. But it's some do I think this has something to do with the zombies too. I'm not really sure, but that seemed interesting. Can't really tell anything else about this story, but um, 
yeah, you probably can't really see it because it's so dark. But I've been wanting to pick, uh, wanting to check this out for a while. It seems like it would be really interesting. So hopefully, yeah. Next I got here is Illuminae, and this is this is by let me see. So. This is the first book in the Illuminae files, and this is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And um, I just seem interested in this story because um, it seemed interesting. Sci-fi, do not know much about it, but maybe that's a good thing because I can go in there blind and just like be surprised. I'm gonna like watch a TV show or something, but it seemed like it could be really interesting. So, whoa, what's this? This is a lot of, a lot of pictures. Of people, I wonder if I put it far back, you can see like something that'd be interesting. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Hope to get into that soon. I plan on putting that as my TV for June. Next, I got here is After the Shot Drops by Randy Ribe. And um, we don't know much about this, mostly, I think it's just about basketball. It's mostly about Bunny who's been feeling pressure to make the most of his prestigious basketball skills. His mother works the graveyard shift and his dad bookstore isn't going to shoot isn't isn't doing so hot. So I guess he's trying to win uh, the championship basketball. We trying to wait, so he's an exclusive prep school. Uh the decision might cost some his best friend. I don't know. I guess it's something to do with like him trying to go to the school school and like he might lose his friend because his friend goes to other school or something like that. But it's something to do with good um uh, coming to age, betrayal, friendship and uh, other stuff, basketball, you see. So that's seemed interesting, so yeah, I don't know I still don't know much about it. Hope I said some things correctly. Next I got here is a manga and this is the Young Masters Revenge. Volume one, and this is by Mecca Tanaka. Don't know much much about this either, but mostly I think this. I heard that this is about this guy, the main character, who um, was I guess you could say trauma ties about this one person when they was kids. Like he did something to, to him that traumatized him, and he grew up to try to take revenge by I guess becoming this. Uh, this guy to make her fall in love with him, make make the girl fall in love with him, and I guess he will traumatize her by like breaking up with her or something, or like cannot re uh what do you call it reciprocating. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but like not reciprocating her feelings or something like that. I don't know, but it seems like it's gonna be one of those stories where he probably will fall in love with her. The art seemed nice. It's, um, Kind of is is very cute and nice. So um, yeah, it's a shoujo beat uh, manga. So I don't know if I get into it anytime soon, but yeah. Next we have here is "Picture Us in the Light" by Kelly Lloyd Gilbert, and I do not know nothing about this book. All I know is something to do with like Danny Chang and his like his family keeping a secret about his family. I mean, keeping a secret about his family's past. And I guess, and he also is an artist. You can tell by the cover that he's an artist. And, um, yeah, I do not know much else what this about. It could be a contemporary coming of age story, maybe, or I don't know. But, yeah. Next I got here is Riddle, Rindle's Guide to Love and War, a tale of rivalry, romance, and existential angst. And this is by A.E. Kaplan. And this is kind of like um, a uh, a kind of like a, a illusion tale of Beowulf, or you know, a plot full of pranks, home brewing, lawn mowing, and a fearsome. <coughs> What did I say? I don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's like a satire. It says satire, satire, kind of book about Beowulf, but in Grendel's perspective. But Grendel's in this book, I guess, is probably just a regular teenager. But yeah, I don't know. Might be interesting, might not. I read uh, Be well, kind of read Beowulf. I saw the movie too, 
And I read Grendel, like, as a, as a book, in Grendel's perspective. So, don't know much else about it, so, yeah. Next I got here is The Handsome Girl and the Beautiful Boy by B.T. Giltfred. I do not know if I said that right, but this is it's the same book from by the same author who wrote The Nerdy and the Dirty. Still haven't read that one, but I've been one still want to, but I don't have it with me. I don't still I don't I don't know. But this is mostly about how people per, uh, uh I guess make assumptions about people because of their appearance. Like the girl is like, I guess she kind of like tomboyish, or maybe she's like kind of like a half, half, instead of being like girly and pretty, she's like almost like boyish, and they think she's a lesbian. And the boy, he's like pretty, like he got like probably like a pretty face, and they think he's gay. Seriously. And um, I don't know, it's, I guess they're going to meet, we don't know if they're going to fall in love, or maybe become good friends, and it's gonna be like maybe one of those funny books, but it also says something about like how the girl she might, uh, she might be I don't know, like have feelings for girls, but at the same time she has a crush on her best friend who's a guy, but we don't know for sure. It seemed interesting, so I just want to check it out. It's like in two perspectives, of course, and it's like written, diff written in like I don't know, very I don't know. It's very it's just look interesting. Um, so next we have is Tradition by Brendan Kelly, or, yeah, I think that's pronounced it. And, um, this is a new book that just recently came out. I do not know much about it. All I know is about these two people. It's probably told in two perspectives. Two students, one named James and the other one, um, named Jules, goes to the school who used, I think it used to be a all-boys school, but then... It became co-ed, and um, don't know much about it. It seemed like it, like the guy's perspective, most stories, mostly him trying to get this um, get this second chance or become I don't know. I don't I don't know much. I just was interested in the cover, and someone said something that interested me in the story, but I forgot what they said. But we have that. Next we have here is The Graces by Laura Eve, I think that even it, Laura Eve. And this is a story about witches, I believe, it got the concept of witches. I don't know much about it, it just seemed like this family who are so captivated, captivating um, to the people. And there's one person, the main character, I think, wants to be, the, be part of that kind of thing. And, um, they said, people say they're kind of witches or something. But I really like, um, uh, how the, the letters are mostly, like, in this blue kind of print instead of the regular black. It seemed, like, it's very interesting and seemed, like, it really cool. So, I hope to get into this soon because I do like stories about witches. Alright, next we have is The Witch Boy. By Kelly Barnhill, and I do not know much about this either. I just saw someone haul this one time, and the cover looked interesting, the title looked interesting, so I checked it out at the library. And uh, this is mostly seen when it's about twins, Ned and um, what his twin name is? Is it Ned and his invisible twin brother tumbled their raft into a Ranging River, only Ned, okay. So, him and his twin, Ned, is the main character, and him and, uh, and his twin brother, like, got, lo uh, got, you know, got lost at sea or something, maybe, and, like, one kind of, like, died from a accident, while the other one survived. I still don't know the other brother's name, but, oh well, maybe that's part of the story. But, yeah, it seemed interesting, so, yeah, it was Will do be good. Next, we have is Radio Silence by Alice Oldsman, and this is don't know much about it. I heard some really good things about it, and I heard that people said that these two people, um, is the mostly it's about friendship, and like I think, um, uh, either I think the 
uh, the girl, I don't know, they got some LGBTQ spectrum in it, but I forgot which one was it, and I think it's one of one was bisexual or something, and the other one was just straight, I'm not really sure, or something, but it's mostly it's a friendship, about friendship, and, um, contemporary, so hopefully it's be really good. It's a very thick book. The next we have is All Out by, well, actually edited by Sandra Mitchell, and this is the No Longer Secret Stories of Queen Tears. Can't talk. Queer teens throughout the ages. So this is stories about queer teens throughout the ages, I guess, from different times. In, in different, you know, like different decades and stuff, and uh, stories for all authors in the anthology. And yeah, I just want to check this out. Hopefully, uh, I might find some really good ones in here and actually enjoy them because it seems like it could be a really good book of like short stories. So hopefully, I get to this one too. Next, I got here is Tyler Johnson was here by Jay Coles. And this is a contemporary about, it's like similar to The Hate You Give and um, Dear Martin, where this, uh, this, the main character, I forget his name, Marvin, he got a twin brother, Tyler, who uh, goes to a party and uh, somehow he got um, shot by a cop. And I guess it's most of the time the after story or like, you know, the effects to that and stuff, so. Yeah, it's kind of a short book, but it seems like it could be really good. It's like, it's not as short as Dear Martin, but hopefully it'll be really good. I um, heard a little mixed things about it from some people, but I hope to enjoy this. We really do like the cover. For some reason, we don't know why the cover is so pretty. Um, I do like the flowers. I really like the flowers around, surrounding the main character. Or is that the brother? I don't know. Then the last book I got here is A Secret, a Secret Sisterhood. The Literary Friendship of Jane Austen, Charlotte Bonte, George Eliot, and Virginia Woolf. And this is a nonfiction book about these authors' friendship when they, you know, like the classic authors' friendship back in the day. And get some pictures here too. So, um, you know, like pictures of what's going on. So yeah, I I don't know if I'll be able to get to this soon, but it's and hopefully maybe seem like it could be really interesting. So yeah, really like how the book looks too. It looks very nice and um yeah. I don't know if I've shown this in a I don't think I've shown this in a previous book haul or not, but yeah, uh, that's all the books I got from the library. So yeah, these are two uh, long videos here. Like the other one is like. 20 minutes, and this one will probably gonna be almost 20 minutes. I don't know, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below. Tell me what you think of all the books. If you read any of them, tell me what you think. Did I spoil nothing? Just have a little nice, just you no know, discussion down below. Um, please like, subscribe if you want to follow me on social media. The links will be down below, and I hope I see you again soon.